Yeah, the, the key thing is the, that we are now in the digital economy and it's going to be more and more important the, that all the industries move to digital and in that scenario it's very important that the fixed broadband networks are future-proof and future-proof networks mean full fiber networks. So that's the reason why it's very important to have good regulation in order to make these networks evolve. And not only for fixed, but also for 5G, it's very important to have a full fiber network. It makes easier to build 5G networks in mobile. So that's also a good reason for have full fiber networks. The boost is, is like the high the capacity and the lower the latency, there are more applications that can, that can be developed on the that network. So that would be the main thing, higher speeds and lower latency. Well, in Spain, we have a very interesting scenario because we already have high coverage of full fiber networks. That is around 80% of Spanish households uh, have coverage to a full fiber network. We have, in some places, uh, one household can have access to four different full fiber networks. So that's, uh, we have good coverage and also a good level of competition. Yeah. We always try to, as a regulators, to strike a, the right balance between fostering investment and at the same time sustaining competition, mm -hmm. right? And that's always our goal. And currently we have in Spain a geographical uh, segmentation analysis when in some parts of the country Telefonica is obliged to provide a wholesale access to other alternative operators and other parts of the country Telefonica is not obliged. And our role is to keep track of this situation and to assess if the boundaries of these two zones, how they have to move forward. Okay. We did get with a good framework in order to solve the two main bottlenecks in order to deploy full fiber networks that are mainly passive infrastructure. Mm -hmm. In Spain, we impose Telefonica the obligation to give access to its ducts for alternative operators could also use Telefonica's okay. ducts to deploy full fiber. And that has been very successful all operators are using Telefonica's DATS in order to deploy their own FTTH networks. And also we have another regulation that is quite important, that in order to avoid uh, mini monopolies inside the buildings, the, the first operator that deploys an in-house fiber wire, wiring infrastructure in a building has the obligation to share it with the other operators, okay. giving access at reasonable price. So these two measures together has been very successful in Spain and explain uh, this kind of uh, different deployments by uh, different operators. In uh, Europe, Portugal and, and us in Spain, we were very in favor of opening that. We made uh, an analysis of the situation back in 2008 and we found that it was a very relevant bottleneck because between 60 and 80 percent of the total cost of deploying a full fiber networks are the civil works. Yeah. So if you open the DAX, you are making it easier for all operators to deploy their yeah. own networks. For fixed networks, let's see where the companies reach. And it's clear that will be a part of the country, at least in Spain, that the operators won't reach. It will be a small part of the country because we are already at 80% of the households covered. What to do in that areas and uh, probably in that public state are deserved in order to give to build either FTTH networks or look for other solutions such as fiber wireless access.